Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd, you know who it is, and it is time for a quick little EP review of this new collection of tracks from Dirty Projectors, Flight Tower EP. This is the second of what is supposed to be a run of five EPs from the long-running indie and art pop outfit Dirty Projectors. Singer-songwriter, composer, and guitarist extraordinaire David Longstreth is back with a new lineup for the band, and he he seems to be feeling out the new possibilities of Dirty Projectors with that. Loved the first batch of tracks that came from this EP series, which was in the form of Windows Open. That dropped this past March and was essentially a short, sweet, and folky series of ballads featuring these wonderful vocal arrangements that called back to some of Dirty Projectors' most classic stuff. Now, Flight Tower here still contains a lot of those same elements, but now things are getting more complicated groovier, slightly more experimental as well. We have the opening track, Inner World, which is just as solid a tune as anything from Windows Open, but the instrumental palette now is filling out with some woozy keys and endearing pianos, some acoustic guitar breaks, and this very ear-grabbing, prickly, stuttering, metallic synth pattern. Also, it sounds like the occasional sample of a dog barking. The sound of it is a bit odd, but at the core of it, it does have this beautiful swaying tune that is really compelling and sticky, and I find myself singing just after a few listens. In a world, in a world. The following Lose Your Love, we have more stuttering metallic percussion, more cute keys, funny vocal work, very much the same palette of sounds, but now a stronger groove and peppier hook. I never want to lose your love. So Solid song all around, but then past the midway point of this EP, there seems to be a change where the tracks focus a lot more on creating a vibe that you can just get lost in. The beat and samples and rhythmic switch-ups on the following self-design seem hip-hop inspired. Loving also the ghostly and strange vocal manipulations that happen across the track. I don't know if I want to dance to it or rap on it. Sure, in terms of tone and songwriting style, it's not like the two previous tracks, but if this thing somehow turned up on some random producer's beat tape, it would certainly be a highlight. The closer, Empty Vessel, has a similar emphasis on groove as well, but it has a much more meditative approach. The vocals and faintly droning keys in the background are pretty serene. Sort of an anticlimactic finish for this EP in my view, but it's just a few tracks. There's not a whole lot in terms of progression you can drum up in such a short amount of time, and considering it's a part of an ongoing series, I do find it interesting in the context of these other tracks and would wouldn't mind hearing Dirty Projectors explore other songs like it. Reminded. They were a bit more fleshed out, of course. And so that is this new Dirty Projectors EP in a nutshell. I thought it was really good, enjoyed it about as much as Windows Open, and David Longstreth and company are keeping things interesting in this new series, so I'm pretty excited to see where this will head in terms of an assembly of these EPs or a new album further beyond this. I'm not sure, but as long as it's sounding good... It's sounding good. Let me know some of your thoughts on these tracks if you happen to listen to them in the comments down below. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Dirty Projectors, Flight Tower, forever.